And finally, on a much more somber note, because this weekend was a really great time of happiness and celebration and joy for a lot of Auburn fans. It's also a really sad one because Sunday, Pat Sullivan died. Pat Sullivan, who was Auburn's first Heisman winner and the state of Alabama's first Heisman winner. We've had several since then, most of them from Alabama or Auburn and even one from Florida State with, uh, uh, you know, with, with their player that was from the state of Alabama. But Pat Sullivan was the first. And quietly in his sleep, probably sometime very early Sunday morning, he passed away. So there's no indication that he would have felt any pain or anything like that. So that's certainly a blessing. But at the age of 69, Pat Sullivan is no longer with us. And to kind of emphasize the kind of athlete that he was, there have only been nine other players from the state of Alabama in all of college football history that has been awarded the title All-American unanimously. We've had several All-Americans, but he's one of only 10 that were awarded that title unanimously. That There was no one that thought, no, let's go with somebody else. And there's just so many memories surrounding him. I'd like to share a couple that I saw. Kevin Steele, Auburn's current defensive coordinator. As a young first, second, third, fourth grader growing up in this stadium, coming here, I mean, I wore number seven in junior high. And I was a quarterback at Prattville Junior High. I don't think I need to tell you why I wore number seven. Pat Sullivan's number seven jersey, of course, has been retired at Auburn University. And then I think that it says a lot about a person when even their enemies can compliment them. And there was one statement that I saw from Bear Bryant. He does more things to beat you than any quarterback I've ever seen. I think of that as quite a compliment from Bear Bryant because when even somebody that is opposed to you has to admit that you're a very skilled and worthy adversary, especially somebody of Bear Bryant's caliber, that is a great testament to your athletic ability and, in this case, Pat Sullivan's tenacity. So, as much as he will be missed by the Auburn family, I know that uh, his legacy is going to continue to live on. My generation doesn't remember seeing Bo Jackson play. I don't remember seeing Bo Jackson play because by the time that I was aware enough of who Bo Jackson even was, his career had already ended in the NFL and the MLB. So, of course, we don't even come close to remembering Pat Sullivan. But the influence that he had over our university is still being felt to this day. Some of the things that he set up and put into motion with his talent, his leadership, those things are still being felt at Auburn University today. There was a an air of excellence. And one of the things that Pat Sullivan really did is Auburn, because they look at football as, as something to, you know, strive to be good at, they've always taken it seriously. But one of the things that Pat Sullivan really did for the community and for the environment surrounding Auburn athletics was gigantic because it was one of the first times that Auburn really felt like it was really important on the national stage. I'm not saying it was him alone, but I'm saying he was a big contributing factor to people thinking of Auburn as a important national force when it came to college football. And there are an awful lot of states, an awful lot of states that have a top tier big conference, state school, and then maybe one other one that kind of competes with them, but not really. I mean, you've got Georgia and Georgia Tech, for example. You've got Tennessee and Vanderbilt. You've got Kentucky and Louisville. 
there, there's a lot of states that have that big state school and then they're kind of lesser school as far as athletics go. I'm not trying to speak anything to their academic prowess. That's a common thing. And it would not have been something that would be unusual for Auburn to be that in the state of Alabama. But the fact that Alabama has two top-tier, nationally recognized titans of a team, both in the SEC, and that they're both such a big deal, and that their matchups are pretty even, is, at least in part, a testament to the work that people like Pat Sullivan put into that university. And we thank him for his contributions, even if we don't remember him playing. We didn't grow up talking about Pat Sullivan or watching Pat Sullivan because he was before our time, but your contributions are still very much appreciated. Oh, hey, what are you still doing here? Video's over. I'm off the clock, so go watch another one of my videos or something. Or better yet, you could subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell, and if you do that, then you'll get a notification when I actually am on the air and you can watch me then. In the meantime, I'm going to take a nap.